Hello and welcome to this IronCAD video that's going to cover um, IronCAD customization as far as customizing the software for the user interface, uh, options, and uh, things like uh, sheet metal stock and, and tools and so forth. So we're going to start uh, by uh, going over some different components of the IronCAD user interface. Up here in the upper left hand corner we have the quick access toolbar and uh, this comes with uh, several options, icons, you know, things like import part, you know, standard things, new, open files, and uh, options here. You can also uh, click on this down arrow here and go down to more commands and brings up this dialog here that will allow you to, um, you know, create uh, whatever commands you want on the uh, toolbar there, on the quick access toolbar. There's, there's a different categories of things. Uh, the main menu, uh, for example, if I want 3D curves, if I'm going to use a lot of 3D curves, I might want to add that to my list and just hit OK. And I can always access the uh, 3D curve tool just with a, with a quick pick there. So that's very convenient, a good way to uh, customize your user interface. Uh, you can change that easily. If you want to pull something off, you just come back in and remove it, and that goes back to the default. Uh, the next uh, portion is the ribbon bars, these uh, tabs across the top. This is a, a standard Microsoft uh, interface that uh, a lot of people like. Uh, it's very customizable. You can make your own tabs. You can rearrange the icons within these uh, sections, make your own groups, and, and so forth. Just right-click here on a blank area of the ribbon bar and go down to Customize Ribbon Bar. You know, so from here, I could create a new tab, a new panel. I'll go ahead and create a new tab. I'll select uh, down at the bottom, so I'll go to the right of the bottom one, click New Tab, and I'll say uh, My Tools. Uh, I've got a panel here, and I can right-click and rename that, you know, and I'll just give it my name, for instance, for, for sample. And I've got that selected, and then I can come in here to some features, like uh, say, for instance, I want to throw the extrude on there. If I just add that, um, you know, maybe I also want to have loft, uh, maybe a sketch command, the 2D shape, so those three, maybe I use those a lot and I want those in a group, and you see they come up in a, a category already here, just uh, predefined. It's got my, uh, my panel name, and then I just close this out and I'm ready to use those commands. So that's a nice way to, uh, to customize the UI. Um, uh, also, you know, existing uh, groups can be uh, edited as well. If I wanted to maybe add or remove to a certain section, on the surface uh, ribbon bar, for instance, I could easily just start adding uh, icons to that. Uh, you can always reset it if you want uh, or, or do whatever you need to do. Uh, in addition to the uh, ribbon bars, we do have a toolbar UI. And you have the option to mix the ribbon bar along with toolbar. So I can right click here, go to toolbar set. Uh, let me do it from over here. Toolbar set. And say I want like the advanced camera toolbar to pop up. I can bring that in, maybe dock that somewhere here, convenient. And uh, then I have some uh, advanced camera tools that are handy, things that may be uh, harder to reach otherwise. So I can kind of mix uh, ribbon bars and toolbars. Or if I want to switch back to just a complete toolbar UI, I right click here and just select uh, Switch UI. And that takes a second for it to reconfigure, but then it puts me in a complete um, UI of just uh, icons and toolbars and you can toggle back and forth with that switch UI option. So, yeah, so like I say, you can mix and match, uh, or you can have either or. You know, so you have a, a maximum amount of flexibility there. Uh, another things that uh, are popular are things like keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we also have uh, what we call a, a floaty menu and some mouse gestures. So I'm going to cover some of those. So for instance, um, you know, for the, the floaty key uh, menu, if you have something selected, or even if you're just in the scene and you press the S key on the keyboard, this nice little floating toolbar comes up and you can start commands. Maybe I'll grab shell and I can, you know, pop that in there and, uh, and shell out my part. Uh, so at any level, you know, it'll be context sensitive and, and give you uh, different feedback, a different toolbar for whatever it is you have selected. So if I have a face selected, it's going to give me options that are, uh, you know, context sensitive to that selection. Now, so all that can be customized as well. So if I right click here and go down to Customize Toolbar Menu Keyboard, that pops up this nice dialog here. I can customize different uh, toolbars. Uh, here I can set my keyboard shortcuts. So 
you know, I come in here with uh, any feature, say I want extrude to be a control E or maybe shift E. There we go. So shift E will start to extrude. Um, this is for add on tools, which we won't cover today. Uh, mouse gestures, um, I'll uh, just kind of cover these uh, briefly. Uh, the, some people like them, some people don't. Uh, for different uh, categories, you can assign different things. So like if I had a feature selected and I did a down mouse gesture, it would activate the try ball. Um, pretty straightforward to uh, activate a mouse gesture. You just hold the both mouse keys down and then move in the direction of the arrow. Uh, you can see like OK is a check mark motion, so you go down and up. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. And again, this is kind of like customizing the ribbon bar. You know, you select the uh, item you want, click add, and it adds it to the list. Uh, the pop-up floaty is also uh, very similar, uh, uh, similarly edited. You know, so for instance, say I want, um, you know, on a face selection, these are my default things. Um, but maybe I want uh, something else, like um, I want to... Um, Oh, what's a good extract surface would be a good option you know I select a face and then I want to extract the surface of that face so I'll throw that in there and then there's just some uh, general options there so when I close that now you know I've got my options like my shift E starts my extrude command I'm ready to go that's nice uh, if I go back down to that face level press the S key now I have extract surface you know I can uh, extract a surface there and I get my surface part so uh, you know the floating uh, the floating toolbar is uh, a very a very handy uh, quick access and you know I encourage everybody to customize that to your favorite tools and you'll have them right there at your at your cursor so that's uh, it's very convenient uh, the next uh, item I'd like to talk about is options up here at the top is options you can also get it from the main menu and go to options and this is all your general uh, options and settings for IronCAD these are going to carry out you know through all the uh, sessions of IronCAD and, and any uh, files you have open it includes things for the 3d scene and the 2d drawing uh, there's things just general options things for parts assemblies uh, uh, you can open up interaction here get some mouse uh, customization set your default directories uh, rendering options and so forth you can also export these and share them with colleagues or, or friends or whatever and then load uh, as well so you know if you export that you can export out your uh, your user configuration file and that can be loaded on uh, on another computer um, the last thing we're going to cover is the sheet metal stock and this is important uh, because if you're doing sheet metal work chances are you might need to customize either the bend allowance K factor or the material thickness or add some materials so if you go into stock here you have the default stock table which has a fair amount of, of materials but you may want more and they all come with a default 333 uh, K factor now one thing you want to do is uh, take a look at the files down here these are the files that uh, store the data especially the stock table one you may need to edit uh, you want to make sure that's read uh, have write access so it's not read only by default uh, Windows ma marks this as read only so it'll give you a message down here normally if it's read only I've uh, made mine writable so I can edit that once it's writable and you start IronCAD you have this edit button so you just click edit and whichever one you had selected at the time you edit you can come in and put in a different value so say I want to change the K factor there on that material I can hit OK and now I have this selected this becomes my default material as I drag sheet metal uh, out of the catalog it'll come in with this cold rolled steel 13 and a, a K factor of 425 so uh, very easy to edit and maintain and then this file can be shared you can also put it on a, a network uh, d directory you know point it to a network file so you can share that among your company uh, the tool table is also there for the stamps and the punches and things that you can edit that uh, so those are all available so those are just some of the many areas of uh, things that you can uh, enhance and, and customize in IronCAD to to make it your own give it your own uh, you know, look and feel and, and, and customize it to, to the style of work you do. So uh, hopefully that uh, helps and uh, enjoy. Thank you very much.